Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Tanae and this is Uyang Beauty. In this video, we're going to be doing a look and first impressions with the new Tarte palette. This is their newest Tarte Love palette. This one is called the Juicy Palette. First of all, I really like the packaging. This is really pretty peachy, pinky tone to it. I love the very simple artwork on it. It's plastic. It's got a little bit of weight to it. I like how it feels. And this is the color story. There are 20 shades in this palette. Nine are a shimmer matte kind of finish the rest of them. I mean, shimmer, metallic-y, shiny type finish, and the rest of them are matte. When this palette first launched, I saw a lot of people saying they thought it was boring. They thought that it wasn't inspirational. I like this color story. If you've been following my channel, then you know this is the type of everyday look as far as the color story and the shades and tones that I go for. Just a very soft, pinky, peachy look. As far as this color story is concerned, I absolutely love it. And I enjoyed working with the two. I found the shades to be really, really easy to work with. Very, very blendable. But before we get into this palette, before we get into putting together our look, I just wanted to take a moment to say thank you. Thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you guys so much for all of your support. My very first vlog went up on Sunday. When I went into making it, I did not know what to expect. I did not know what I was doing. I'd never done a vlog before. I don't have a fancy vlog camera. I'm still filming my phone. I don't have like an Instagram ready house. So I was a little bit nervous about that too when it came to trying to find places to film and what the background would look like. But you guys seem to really enjoy the vlog. I got a lot of positive feedback on it. And like I said, I just wanted to say thank you. February 9th will be my one year anniversary as a makeup channel. Throughout my first year, there were times when I got frustrated and just felt like quitting. My views were kind of low. I'd be filming a video and thinking in the back of my mind, no one's going to watch this. Nobody cares. Why are you even doing this? But when it comes down to it, I do this because I love it. Whether or not I get one view or 50 views, I love making content on this channel. And even in those times where I was getting kind of frustrated and just felt like quitting because I felt like I wasn't getting anywhere, I would get a really nice positive comment from one of you guys letting me know that there are people watching my channel, that there are people enjoying my content, and it would just give me the inspiration and the energy to keep on going. Like I said, February 9th, my first year anniversary, I am going to be doing a giveaway. I will let you know more information about that as I get closer to my anniversary date. But for now, let's go ahead and jump into this palette and putting together this look. Well, let's go ahead and get started. I already did my blush and highlight. Today I'm using the Wayne Goss, the Weightless Veil Blush Palette. This one is in Bright Poppy. This is the first time that I've used this one. Sunny and Golden Glow are the names of the shades. It's a really beautiful, peachy, pinky shade. The tone is just really, really pretty. I've used the Vivid Azalea one before. That's the really bright, purpley, lavendery shade. This is the first time that I've used this one. I thought that it would be really, really pretty with this look. Let me go ahead and swatch some of these shades first. I've never used a Tarte formula. This is the first time that I've done it, so I just kind of want to see what the shadows feel like before we put our look together. Let me see. I'm going to swatch this one down here, which is kind of that dark chocolatey brown. Definitely a lot of pigment going on. That's good. I think I want to swatch this gold shade right here. Feels pretty creamy. And let's see, one more shade. I think I'm going to shade or swatch this pinkier one up here in the top. Pigment looks pretty nice. The shimmers look like they have a decent amount of shine. Let's see what they look like swatched. Okay, so that is the swatches. The chocolatey brown looks like it has a pretty good amount of pigment. I'm not seeing a whole lot of shine on these two, so maybe this formula is more of a subtle shimmer. Like I said, this is the first time I've ever used a Tarte palette, so we'll see. The palette does not have shade names, so I'm just going to jump right in. I think I'm going to start off with this one right here. This one has kind of a pinky, peachy tone to it, and I'm going to use that as my transition shade. Blend that all over our eyelid. I'm using this fluffy blending brush from e.l.f. to lay it down. All right, so this is blending very, very nicely. It's going on very smooth. It's a very pretty shade too. It's a little more pink than it is in the pan. That's very, very pretty. This is definitely going to be a really beautiful palette in the springtime. It makes sense that they launched it when they did, with spring being just around the corner. Now I'm going to take this kind of a mid-tone cafe caramel shade here and I'm going to blend that into the crease and then I'm going to think I'm going to take that chocolate brown and put that on the outer corner. Just something very simple and warm today. No fancy, colorful, crazy, out-of-the-box looks. 
very, very simple and warm. I'm using my Real Techniques crease brush to apply this shade. I love the fact that it has that little point to it so you can put it right into your crease. If you're someone like me that has smaller lid space, your eyes are semi or hooded, this brush works really, really well for getting into that tiny, tiny crease area. So you can really, really add depth to your look. Now I'm going to take that chocolate brown and I'm just going to tap that Focus that on this outer part of the eye, just to add a little depth and smoking this. These shades are really pretty. This formula is really nice too. I would say I'm not having any issue whatsoever with blending. I'm not getting any fallout. With this shade, normally I will tap, but instead I just put it on because I want to see if I have any fallout. And I'm just taking it right to the eye. And as you can see, no fallout. Working really, really nicely. I'm going to take that and just softly blend it into the crease. I want kind of a winged out effect going on that outer eye. Now to add a shimmer on this part of the eyelid. I think I'm going to go with that pretty gold shade. Usually whenever I'm doing a look like this and it's more pink and warm tone, I tend to stick with the pinkier shimmers in the palette, but I think I really want to test out this gold. I have a little flat brush here. I'm going to apply it by itself first. I just want to see what it's going to look like and if I need to wet it to add a little bit more shine. We have it on our brush. I don't have a glitter base booster or a glitter primer or anything on my lid right now. It's just the shadow. I didn't prime my lids today either. Usually I prime them with my Juvia's Place concealer. I did not do that today. So this is just going straight onto the lid. It's pretty, it's subtle. It's not like super, super shiny. I'm going to go ahead and wet it. I want to see if that helps to bring out a little bit more of the shine. I'm using my Bolero Detoxifying Face Mist. I got this from the Dollar Tree. Mainly I'm just using this for wetting brushes. I'm not really using it on my face. So the brush is wet. Oh, the shadow on the brush is wet. Let's see if we get more of an intensity here. No, it's about the same. It added maybe just a slight bit more shine, but not much. So this is definitely a very subtle gold. Nothing too like very, very shiny or glossy on the lid. I'm going to try applying it with a brush that's a little bit fluffier. I just kind of want to see if that changes anything. All right, that did change the effect just a little bit. That did give it a little bit more shine. Maybe it was the type of brush that was affecting it. But this brush seems to uh, give the shadow a little bit more impact. I was trying to find my word. So it does look a little bit shinier. It's still not a super shiny shimmer. It's still pretty subtle. I guess you consider it a pretty wearable shimmer that you can wear. Springtime, summer shade. Very, very pretty. I'm going to take just a little bit of that deep cocoa shade. I want to push it up against my lower lash line, mainly focusing on the outer part of the eye. I don't like to really take a fluffy brush and just blend it all out and try to, because usually it ends up just kind of going everywhere since, as you guys know, I do not set my under eyes. So I just kind of like to really focus it in that area. Now for an inner corner highlight, I'm thinking between these two. This is more pink. This one looks like it has more of a peachiness to it. What do I think? I think I'm going to go with this one, the icier peachy one. I'm going to put that in the inner corner and then I'm also going to bring that down to the lower lash line. Add a little bit of brightness in that inner part of the eye, kind of wake things up a little bit. I'm just going to go back real quick and take the, the little pointy crease brush and just blend everything into that shimmer. I think that is all for the eyeshadow for this look. I'm going to go off camera and do some liner, my lashes, my lips, and then we'll come back and we'll talk a little bit more about this palette. My look is complete. I went ahead and I threw in this cream gel liner from Colourpop. This is Peach Fizz. 
put that in my waterline. I think it's just a really, really pretty brightening shade when you just want to open up your eyes. I didn't want to do false lashes today, so I just combined two of my favorite mascaras. This one is from Essence. It's the Lash Princess Sculpted Volume Mascara. So I put this on first, let that dry, and then put on a layer of the Mad Lash Black Mascara from the Balm. These two combined just give me really, really nice, full-looking lashes. I absolutely love that. And for my lips, I am trying something new. This is from ColourPop. It is one of the lippy sticks. This shade is in I Love This, I think is what this is called. I've never used a lippy sticks before. I've wanted to try some new formulas, kind of get away from using just my liquid lipsticks, which I absolutely love, but I'm wanting to get out of my comfort zone and try something else. And this shade, first of all, the shade is really, really pretty. I absolutely love it, but the formula is really, really nice. It's very opaque, went on very smooth, very very comfortable on the lips. Sure, this is going to transfer. This is not a transfer proof or transfer resistant formula, but I do like the way it looks. Now let's talk about what I thought about this palette so far after using it for the first time. First of all, packaging. I absolutely love. You do get fingerprints on it because it is plastic, but I just think it's very, very sleek and there's a nice weight on it. It feels really, really good. I think it's just really soft and pretty. And same thing for this color story. Very soft, very pretty peachy pinky shades. Just beautiful for the spring and the summer. Like I said, a lot of people said that they thought this palette was kind of boring. It wasn't exciting. For me, I love it. You guys know these are the kind of tones when it comes to just an everyday neutral natural type palette. This is what I would go for. And I will definitely be pulling this out a lot in the spring and the summer when I just want to throw together a really quick soft pinky peachy look. This is just so beautiful. This is just right up my alley. I loved how everything blended. Took no effort whatsoever. Putting this look together took just a matter of a few minutes. I absolutely love it. After using this palette, I'm definitely looking forward to trying some more of the other Tarte Lip Palettes. Like I said, this is my first time using a Tarte Palette formula, period. I've never used Tarte before, and I was not disappointed. If you're new to my channel and you're not already subscribed, I would love it if you join the family and tap subscribe. And if you want to be notified of any videos that may be coming up in the future, just be sure to tap the notification bell down below next to subscribe, and that way you'll be notified of any videos that will be coming up in the future. Be safe, guys. Take care of yourself, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.